Hi, I'm Grace. I am a senior on the field hockey team. Um, my first memory playing field hockey would have to be from sixth grade. Um, I went to a field hockey clinic for the first time then, and it was just really fun. Like nobody had any idea what they were doing, but um, yeah, me and all the other girls just had so much fun and it was a really great time. And then from there, I just felt like it was something that I should keep doing. Um, my role models would have to be my two older cousins. Um, they both play field hockey in college. And so I grew up like hearing about their team and their experiences at games and practices and with their coaches and everything like that. Um, and one of them actually went to school not too far away. So we would go and watch some of her games. And it was just like such a great experience, like growing up and getting to see that um, and just see how much they loved it and everything really made me want to have something similar. And lastly, advice I would give to other female athletes. Um, my advice would be to not let anybody tell you that you're not good enough. I think it's really easy to get roped into thinking that like you're not as fast as somebody else on your team or you're not as strong as them or anything like that. Um, when really I think like being on a team, the whole point of it is that everybody is different and everybody has something that they're good at. And then once you put all of those individual skills together, that's when you're really able to like do great things as a team and, you know, win games and championships and everything like that and still have that really tight knit community and just be like a family. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm a senior on the women's cross country team. Um, my first memory running was probably an 800 meter race in fourth grade. I still remember that two laps felt like the longest distance ever, um, but I remember instantly loving the feeling of racing um, and just the feeling of stepping onto the track. It felt so huge. Um, my favorite female role model in athletics is definitely Alexi Pappas. Um, she's done so much to further the conversation around mental health and athletics and has encouraged so many young women to just find joy in running and to not put too much pressure on themselves. And lastly, if I could give a piece of advice to a young female athlete, I would just encourage her to nourish herself and her love for the sport, um, to have grace with herself and be patient as she grows and matures and to just keep showing up every day. Hi, I'm Jasmine Fern. I'm on the women's soccer team. One of my earliest memories of playing soccer was when I collided heads with a girl and like first or second grade and I had a huge gash across my forehead, was supposed to get stitches, but I was very scared of needles at the time and would not. So I walked around for months with a huge bandaid on my forehead because I thought that was like a better alternative. Uh, my role model, I would say when I was younger was Emily Perrin. She played on the UVA women's team and being from Charlottesville, we always went to their games and we we're just like very big fans. And so she ended up coaching one of my travel teams and it was really cool having a coach who like related so much to the players and like really understood where we were at. Um, as I've gotten older, I would say my role models have like shifted a bit. Even now I would say like some of my biggest role models are like some of my older teammates, uh, like Emily Roche, Elle Perlman have like definitely taught me a lot about leadership and what it means to be a good teammate. And so I really appreciate that. And then the best advice I could give to younger players would be to enjoy whatever phase of your soccer career or athletic career you're in, whether that's like first learning to play or like elementary school, middle school, travel, high school, like whatever it is, because um, being a junior in college, I can definitely say it goes by very quickly. So just enjoy it while you can.